I really did appreciate the scene with Ma'am. Oh my god. What did you think? <laughs> Lana is raving about Ethan Hawke's performance as the grabber. I love your face. Hey, buddy pumpkins, it's Che. And Wes. We're back talking the black phone. We're just going to give our thoughts. We're going to give like what we liked about it, what we didn't like about it. We're not going to go too in-depth. We are going to give spoilers. The thing that I loved the most about this movie was just how thrilling it was. Literally, mm -hmm. from the very first second, you're in it. And it doesn't let up the entire time. Literally, I was hooked. I was scared. I felt chilled from the beginning. I really loved the relationship between Finny and Gwen. And I loved the like telepathic type communication that they had going on. Really, if... Gwen has these powers. I really feel like Finney has powers too if he can talk to these dead. That's people. what I'm saying. If so, he's able to communicate with the dead, then like obviously yeah, they, he has something going on too. So really fuck their dad. Yeah. They're oh, dead. No. Oh my god. Worst character in any horror movie I've ever seen. I hated him. I hated him so hated much. Them. I felt like the brother and sister dynamic really just made the film feel relatable i mean right. we both have siblings that we're close mm -hmm. to so when you have something like that where they are going through this traumatic experience together yeah. and then they're split up and you mm -hmm. know ultimately they find each other again like it's just so beautiful and i think that's why it resonates so much with so many people truly i love their relationship because you can really feel the connection between them it, it was just, palpable it, it made him escaping so much more important yeah because even though he had a deadbeat dad he needed to get back to his sister so that he could take care of her and she could take care of him right so that's why that moment at the end is so cathartic when they finally hug mm -hmm. it was so good and you know while we're on the topic we might as well just talk about the performances of these two kids i thought a lot of the acting from the majority of the kids was really good it was grounded it felt real they felt like they all belonged in the same movie like they were existing in the same universe so i didn't really have any faults with the kids it was mainly the adults that i had some acting uh, issues with i feel like i have to talk about madeline mcgraw mm -hmm. she was amazing she right. was so good she was good at comedy she was good at drama and i mean of course she's from the mcgraw family we have violet mcgraw yes a queen. of hill house you know it. a queen when are they making a movie together oh they as should. sisters no a they horror movie they as sisters please well they will they will they're taking over the genre, honey. No, she really was so good. I thought that she was by far the standout, and she's someone that I can see myself like seeking out her projects in the future to see what else she's going to be doing because she shined. Mm -hmm. But so did Mason Thames. He really did. I mean, he really he he carries, carries the, the movie yes. on his back. He has so much interaction with nothing, with ghosts, spirits. A phone. A phone. A hole his... that he's digging. His props are whatever he can find in this basement. <laughs> yes. And he's so convincing as someone who's like struggling but trying to figure it out. You know, there's this moment where he just like is so tired of fighting mm -hmm. and he collapses and starts crying. Oh my God. Yeah. The first time we see him cry, yes. he breaks and it is, I related. I Same. was like, yeah, I've. It was heartbreaking. We've all been there. Yeah. I mean, probably not. Not, not there. Not there. But like mentally there. Mentally there. He was great. I thought the two of them together, they were just so wonderful. So next, let's talk about someone else that we liked in this movie. Daddy Hawk. <laughs> Ethan. Look, Ethan Hawk as the grabber. Bitch, he can grab me. <laughs> grab us both. Grab Please. me the fuck up. Ethan's performance was just so captivating. He was so scary, horrifying. I truly felt every single quirk in his character, and I hate him yeah i mean it was just weird because they were like sexualizing him like they he's were. like i was like he doesn't have a shirt on i was like why is he and he's playing naughty he has, boy he has big muscles yeah he has a belt that he wants to whip you with I was like, like it was weird but i really liked that he he was really kind of playing different characters because we had like the weird like pennywise kind of guy at the beginning well yeah i almost feel like it was different characters per mask that he would put on because uh, he had like the jaw mask and then just the horn face mask he had like i think it was like three different masks yeah he throughout, but. and then by the end when he kills his brother he's like full-on like jack torrance like oh true he's not using that little baby voice anymore he's yeah. like fully screaming oh i love the ethan baby doll voice it was cute it was cute it was horrifying oh but. i'm so scared of 
Ethan forever now. We got voice. home. We got home, and I literally looked at him, and I said, that's Maya Hawke's dad. Like, what does she think about this movie? What did she say to him after she watched this? I, I need to know. What in Uma. What does Uma think? Because, <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Yeah. There were only a few things that we didn't really like about this movie. Yeah. Um, for me, the supernatural elements didn't always quite work. You know, there's these moments where he's on the phone talking to these dead kids, and then you'll see them, like, parallel to him somehow mm-hmm. or something. And, like, sometimes it worked, but sometimes it didn't work and it kind of distracted me it didn't take me out of the moment but i do wish that we didn't see them as much like if they had maybe just been in the room but not so visual like if we hadn't been seeing close-ups of their face Mm -hmm. like if they were just like in the corner far away and you like see them back there but they're you're not like looking at them yeah they just felt a little too in your face yeah but i really did appreciate the scene with Ma'am. Oh my god. What did you think? <laughs> Lana is raving about Ethan Hawke's performance as the grabber. I love your face. As I was saying, <laughs> I love the scene where Robin is instructing Fanny to fill up the phone receiver with dirt so that he can use it to beat the shit out of the grabber. I just love the visual of that. I thought it was the best supernatural element um, mm-hmm. that was used i agree sure. that was the that was when that idea worked the best for me mm-hmm. and just speaking of robin i really liked the relationship with robin mm-hmm. and finney i just thought that that was nice and sweet i don't know if there i i mean i honestly kind of felt like potentially there was sparks oh sparks fly i i yeah i really felt like that but i don't know if that's what they're going for I felt like it was maybe ambiguous, but I just thought that that was sweet. That moment where he was teaching him, I thought, was really sweet and kind of a full circle moment Mm -hmm. for Finney, who hasn't been able to stand up for himself at all. Yeah, true. I also felt that way about Bruce whenever he was complimenting him on his arm Mm -hmm. and just the ghost pumping up Finney. It just, it It warmed my heart. Yes, it was like... It was sweet. It was really sweet. Yeah, it was teamwork, you know. Another thing that I didn't like was the dad. Of course, we kind of already touched on him. I just thought that I didn't think that the character was that well developed. I didn't think he was that interesting. And I didn't think that the portrayal of him was that great. Either. No. The accent was really weird. He was he sounded so different from everyone else. He was in a completely different movie. Also very inconsistent, like with the writing. Like one minute he's screaming at his kids and the next minute he's nice. Which, he's being so nice. Like I, I know the ups and downs of like living in a family with like an alcoholic father, but like it just didn't feel It was real. disjointed. Personally, I felt like it would have been more impactful if maybe the mom was the one who was telling who was alive and telling her daughter not to listen to her instincts because because mm, she because she, this is what happened to mm-hmm. me when I listened to my powers so she had a conflict with the oh, officers that's true and, and she, she cussed to- them out she told them the to fuck off mm-hmm. that was one of my very favorite parts of this movie truly it was really good she was hilarious but yeah overall I really enjoyed this movie I felt like it's been a long time coming the trailer played before every movie ever for the past like year literally I've seen that trailer 814 times and I'm really happy we didn't watch the second trailer because that is very spoiler I felt like we watched the whole movie we just watched it and I was shocked at how much they put in there that's crazy they put a lot stop doing that that's why I I only watched I don't, sometimes trailer. I don't even want to watch the first trailer. Like, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I don't, but if I do, I will not watch more than one. It's not worth it, kids. Oh, no. Literally, we ran out of the theater when they started playing the second Nope trailer because we haven't watched it yet. We heard it was very spoiler heavy, so. Literally sprinted we out of the theater. Out of there, yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. Overall, I really enjoyed the Black Phone and. Personally, I would give it four stars. I gave it four stars as well. I think I might have given it higher, maybe four and a half, if it weren't for the dad and just, you know, just some of the... A few of the the small inconsistencies. But honestly, I could see this movie growing to a higher ranking on a rewatch for me. Me too. Or a higher rating. I'm really excited to see it. I'm telling my family to go see it. My aunt said she wants to see it on the big screen. I was like, girl, go. Go off, honey. Go to the movies. Nicole is waiting. Yes, she is. Because we need that. All of us. Down in the comments below, let us know what you thought of the black phone. Would you let Ethan Hawke grab you? (laughs) I think I'd let him grab me. I mean, Uma Thurman let him. Why not me? (laughs) 
As always, make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe yes. to Petty Pumpkins. Please do also follow us on all social media at Petty Pumpkins. We want to spill the tea with you. Thank y'all so very much for watching. We love y'all. Stay spooky. Hell's under new management now. I like my pumpkin spice lattes extra hot. I am going to eat your soul. Sorry, I'm not into short guys. Ha, ha, ha.